They see the world through big eyes and they don't realize that there is a life that they leave at home when they go abroad and they come back, there is still a life there and usually it involves somebody else. That's tough. Casey Bramhoff, captain in uh, Canadian Forces. Uh, we met a long time ago, 34 years ago, we met and we uh, started a life together. I'm Anita. We were married in 1995. I've been together since 1989. And I would say that when it came to goals, there were some challenges in that because I'm a lot more conservative with money. He's more that you need to live, you need to enjoy, you need to spend it. And I'm more, well, you've got to save for that rainy day, right? Because that's my upbringing, that's what I'm used to. And when Casey and I met and we started to really get to know one another, I started to realize his uh, attachment and his freedom to be able to use money to actually enjoy life. And that was new to me in the sense that my mom and dad, um, they started with nothing. You never bought what you couldn't afford to pay for, so there was no idea of credit. I had to learn to trust and to also follow his lead and start to understand, you know what, if you're working, it's okay to buy nice things. It's okay to have a nice dinner. It's okay to go for a trip. You gotta enjoy life. You gotta eat out once in a while, even if it's just, you know, a burger. Uh, I'm that kind of personality, a giving personality, where she's more, like she said, conservative. She's a farm girl and uh, you work with what you have, right? So she is kind of the foundation that grounded me and a lot of it is trust. And that's a tough thing to do, to hand over the power, the control, as it were, and allow somebody else to drive the car. And this is a tough thing for people to understand. I don't care who they are, especially CAF members. If you can't trust the person you're sitting right next to or you're in a ditch with or whatever, then you're on your own. And, and you won't make it on your own. Anyone in the CAF knows that. You cannot make it on your own. It's a team effort. And I think that idea of trust comes into play even where we're at now in our lives is because being able to trust one another, and I know that we do trust one another explicitly, also means that any controls we had on a relationship, we've been able to relinquish over time. Because I, I felt that's one of the biggest changes as we've grown together and grown older is we're not controlling or trying to control certain parts of the relationship which is trying to control each other. That part was tricky. Any kind of disagreements that happen around money, there's always a fallout for both people. Both people have to sort of reground themselves but they have to find their own way to do that. I've gone to my share of counseling to smooth the bumps over because you know I've got issues. Those issues were affecting our life, our personal life, which affects how you want to spend money. If you're in a bad patch, you don't care about saving money. You want to live, you want to have fun, you don't care about the end game because you're living in the moment because you're suffering. So you got to get your headspace in a good place too in order to play this game right. Communication I think was the biggest thing. And she is a good communicator. Just sometimes her long-winded answers don't match my calf personality where I need things just cut and dried and it's more expedient that way. So that's where we have differences nowadays. She'll give me a long educated answer like, an, like, a, like a teacher or a, uh, an instructor does, you know, an educator. And I'm going, that's way too much. I just need yes or no. And that's where I have to lighten up a little bit with the communication. I gotta be more forthgiving and say, say your piece, don't cut her off. And that's challenging too. And I think that's where we had some disagreements is when Casey was seeking like sort of the black and the white, the yes or the no, like in the moment. And I'm more of a big picture thinking. So even with finances, I'm more like looking long term. And sometimes if I needed the, the space to explain to him, like the reasoning for a certain financial decision it was hard for Casey because he'd be like, you're losing me with all that. It's just like, what's happening in this moment? This or this, right? There is a respect that has to happen for both people that mm -hmm. even though like in this moment I might be all about business I want to get things done I want to go through my to-do list he's not in the same place or he's got a lot of things happening you know where are we both at is this a good time should this be talked about all right now or just in a smaller piece so that's when you have to actually communicate the calf also gave me a different outlook on things disciplined me a lot more than what 
I would have if I didn't have that sort of training and discipline. It's the Canadian way, do more with less. And we do that all the time in life and young people have to do it all the time now. But a relationship is something that evolves. It does grow and, and you grow with each other and people change. We're not the same people we were 30 some odd years ago. For people that are in our situation that are just starting out, I'd like to say that they gotta communicate and write yourself a plan. You don't do anything in the Army without a plan.